Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, why does somebody text repetitively and then just disappear? This is such a great conversation because it's happening so much today with, for obvious reasons, because everybody's more online and getting to know each other with social distancing and all those things. But the thing that's driving everybody crazy is they're having these amazing conversations with people, thinking everything's going great, setting it up in their own mind that they're going to actually meet up eventually down the road. Then all of a sudden, poof, there's no more connection. Even though you're not really um, invested that much, you, you get your hope up. You get a little bit of faith. Oh my God, this is great. Maybe I will meet this, meet somebody cool. This is, this is awesome. And then it just ends. Well, people right now are, are getting themselves into situations where they're having three, four or five people that they're talking to. Unfortunately, that's one of the, the downfalls of, of online dating because people just sit there and seem to gather as many people as they possibly can and see which one's the best fit. But what's happening, like how does this, how does somebody talk to that many people and have it so, so such a great connection like that and then just end it? The thing that is so hard is that your, your ego gets a little bit involved here because you think, what, they didn't even say anything. They just sort of ghosted, ghosted me at the end of you know, four weeks of wonderful conversation. I shared a lot with them. I told them a lot of stuff about myself. Why did I do that? Now I'm mad at myself for telling them all this. The trick is before you meet anybody, be careful what information you are giving out. Sometimes we get feeling so comfortable with somebody that we give out inf secrets and information that we don't even tell some of our really good friends. And this can be a problem because we don't even realize that we're handing out so much valuable info to a complete stranger. And then we sit there at the end of it when they ghost us, oh my God, they know all this about me. So what I really advise here when you are texting somebody, because that's going to happen, and I'm sorry, it does happen like this, but if you don't give that much energy and time to somebody all the time, every time you get to know somebody online, you will be more protective of yourself. Give out a little bit of stuff so that you can have a nice conversation, but don't get into this bombarding of texting, texting, texting. You know, you don't even know them yet. Until you look somebody in the eye and sit down and have a conversation with them face to face, they can be anybody they want to be. And this is one of the big problems that a lot of people are not understanding. They think, yeah, but, yeah, but, but it was so good. It was so great. Well, yeah. Anybody can be good for a little while. We know that. When you're getting to know someone via uh, online dating, take your time. Anybody that comes in super, super fast like this, there's a really good chance they're not going to stick around. They're having fun. They're going, wow, this is great. You might say one wrong thing that they don't like and they're off to the next person. Until you meet them, as I said a minute ago, face to face, look into their eyes and talk to them you're not going to know who they really truly are anyway. So I know it's super hurtful, but the only way you're going to make this not happen is don't get so invested too quickly with somebody you've never met. Because this is becoming a very common thing. Some people just sit there and have fun just talking to everybody. They have no intention of even meeting anybody. They might even be in a relationship. And that's another hard thing. They might be just having fun and, and building up their own ego because you guys are having this amazing chat. Until all this sort of clears up with all the new rules, with the dating and everything, hang in there. Don't get too involved with somebody too quickly. Take your time and don't give out so much information. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. I appreciate all your comments and my new subscribers. You're awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, leave a comment on this video and let me know what, what do you think about this conversation. Thanks everyone. Take care. Bye.